some cool tools. We're taming the great outdoors. We got all kinds of tools you can use outside. A few inches of snow, and I can use this no problem. But with a few feet and a big area, I need a snow plow. Meyer makes one that attaches right to the front of your SUV. We went to the factory in Ohio to see how they're made. If you got a long driveway, the snow plow can clear it off in a hurry. Meyer makes big commercial grade plows, and now they make a smaller, lighter version. The home plow is designed specifically for what they call PI wires. PIY means plow it yourself. That's what we believe in, that's our motto. Hey, Meyer knows all about digging out, going back to their beginnings in snowy Newburgh, New York. The company was started in 1926 in upstate New York. Ed Meyer was in the middle of a bad winter and came up with the idea that he could put a, a wooden mold board on the front of his Buick. These days, they branched out from Buicks. The home plow attaches to the front of just about any kind of light truck or SUV. You simply line the plow up with the hitch, put your locking pin in, connect the plug, raise the plow up slightly, rotate your wheels around 180 degrees, and then once you do that, you're ready to go out and plow snow. The home plow is the only plow of its size that gives you total control from inside your truck. But actually has a patented feature we call auto angle that allows the plow to go right or left, and that's a wireless operation. So the operator stays inside, warm and cozy. Meyer makes plows and other snow clearing equipment at their factory in Cleveland, Ohio. They start by trucking in raw steel by the ton. We bring in about uh, 45,000 pounds of steel, and each home plow contains about uh, 240 pounds of steel in it. The steel forms the main part of the plow, as well as smaller components. To cut them to size, they use a 4,000 watt laser. The cutting is all controlled by computer, and when it's done cutting, unloading is automatic too. At the same time, the main part of the plow, or mold board, is formed in three stages. We'll take this 40 pound steel blank, we'll punch it in the fin power, over in the roller, we'll roll it so it gets the mold board shape. That gives it the perfect amount of curve. And then we'll take it over to the press brake and we'll put the brake on the top for the deflector that keeps the snow off the windshield of the vehicle. The mold board and other components come together in welding. While some welds are done by hand, these days most are done by robot. The robot welds the entire mold board in about 20 minutes. The welds are thoroughly inspected. Then it's time to clean them up. For that, they blast them with small particles. The shot blast process is very similar to, a, to sandblasting the steel. Next, the plows move to the paint area. Each one is sprayed with a powder coating that's baked to 400 degrees. It's exactly the same type of finish as you have on an automobile. Very strong, durable finish. In assembly, the pivot bar is attached. Then, the logo goes on. Finally, the boards are attached to the A-frame and the lift frame. Before a plow goes out, each one is tested to make sure the hydraulics work and it's all operating correctly. After that, they create them up. This plow comes to the homeowner fully assembled, ready to go. Get it on your SUV, and you're plowing it yourself. Yeah, with the home plow, Snow's not gonna slow you down.